Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm gonna do a pour that I haven't done in a while, which is an infinity pour. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, you'll find out in just a few minutes. And I am going to be using two of my split cups. This is actually a new and improved design. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. So I'm gonna do what I tend to do with the Infinity Pour, which I love is cool colors on one side, warm colors on the other. So on this side, I'm going to be using white and silver. I haven't tried this silver from the uh, Ready Mix Pouring Paint yet. And this is a 12 by 12 canvas. So I need to fill these cups up a little bit over halfway. These are eight ounce cups. All right, and then on this half, I'm using the phthalo blue and then some of the turquoise. I got these little bottles. They're pretty fun. Okay, good. Now on this side, we'll do black and yellow, I think, in one. I'm not going to use a lot of black, just a little bit. Oh, I don't have that much yellow left. Hopefully I have enough to do this. It's time to restock. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll do orange and red. I love this orange. So the Infinity Pour does take a little bit of uh, coordination, finessing. Basically, you're going to take one cup in each hand. You don't have to do this with split cups, but I wanted to try it with that. Um, and you're going to go in a circular motion, just as so. I like to not keep it in kind of like a perfect, perfect circle, but kind of keep that general motion and it can work cool if you kind of do some splatters at the end this is kind of the hot mess period but once you spread it out you'll see it actually is quite awesome all right i'm gonna put these on top of each other and this is how I do my leftover paint guys i just take one cup and put on top of the other it drains into that and that actually keeps it from drying out as well. So now we're going to tilt and that's going to spread the paint out. I do love doing this with regular paint um, because you can actually get, if your paint's mixed correctly of course, a lot of really cool cells. But I thought I would try it today with the ready mixed pouring paint. Let's see what we get. Should be pretty wild and crazy. <laughs> and there we go. That is wild and crazy and I love it. I actually really like that silver. I'll try to show you it through the camera in a second, but let's go ahead and let this sit for a little bit and then we'll do our close up. All right, we're back. This paint does not tend to change very much, so it should, should dry basically just like this. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. All right, starting in the lower right-hand corner. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's that silver. And I just love this because it has so much depth. Kind of wish it had even more turquoise. I really like that turquoise, but I love this. So upper left hand corner, lower left hand corner, and then I think this crazy part over here is my favorite. Even though it's a really funky color, those ribbons just look amazing. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check in the description for all of the materials, and I will see you all next time.